Hi, I'm Dr. Lewis and let's talk about the interesting topic of using ketogenic diet to prevent or to even treat dementia, in particular Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and maybe you heard about keto diet as a treatment for epilepsy, but there's lots of interest now in how to use keto diet for the treatment, prevention of dementia or treatment of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So let's look at what do we know. Okay, why, why would we even think about keto diet for dementia? Uh, and it comes down to a few essential body functions. So mitochondrial function, uh, improved insulin sensitivity, weight loss, and reduced inflammation. Uh, and all of these are super important because they fit what we know about how dementia takes place and unfolds. So it's like reducing those kind of root causes of dementia. So first of all, let's look at cognitive functions. So there are several clinical studies uh, which suggest that the ketogenic can improve cognitive function for people with mild cognitive impairment or with early stage Alzheimer's. Yay, right? So that's just using food. Uh, and those improvements are for, for example, for memory, attention, executive function, uh, and the research is young and of course we need more, but that's like so hopeful that food and, and can be helpful for dementia because it's such a painful and difficult condition for the individual and also for family and also gives us a clue if you want to prevent dementia, this is something you can do, right? Lower your carb intake. Another thing is reduction of amyloid plaques, right? So as a major hallmark of Alzheimer's disease uh, is this accumulation of these amyloid plaques. And because ketone uh, diet, like, you know, ketogenic diet uh, is good for the mitochondria and reduces oxidative stress, somehow all of that together helps to get rid of some of those uh, plaques. Also, a ketogenic diet can help our mitochondria. Mitochondria are the tiny little organelles inside the cells which make energy and also they detoxify, they take harmful things out. Uh, and when we're on a keto diet which produces ketones, um, we're not running on glucose, right? And it's a cleaner energy source, right? So mitochondria don't have as much work. Let's clean up for the mitochondria. Uh, and they can focus on other things, right? And because in dementia, glucose metabolism is problematic, uh, switching to ketones can be a big relief for the brain and that comes with improved cognitive function, right? And anything really that reduces oxidative stress, anything that reduces inflammation also can slow the progression of dementia, right? So we know Inflammation is a significant contributor to dementia and we know that ketogenic diet can have an anti-inflammatory effect, right? So it also like you could do a really poor keto diet or like a good keto diet, but the healthy, reasonable keto diet will lower inflammation and that will slow down the progression of dementia or other neurodegenerative diseases like dementia. Okay, another reason to consider keto diet for dementia is that the keto diet is good for the gut microbiome, right? So we, in general, eat way too much sugar and carbs and that causes all kinds of disruptions and the wrong things growing, the wrong parts of our digestive tract. So if you switch to keto, it balances all of that out, right? So the gut is happier and healthier and with a healthier gut, you can see benefits for Alzheimer's and dementia. So it also may like help with better production of the good neurotransmitters you want, you know, GABA. Um, and if you reduce inflammation in the gut and in the body, you reduce the inflammation in the brain. Also, there's this idea about high carb diets causing glycation uh, of a protein called apolipoprotein E. Okay, so this glycation basically messes with the ability of this uh, protein to transport lipids to brain cells and that can damage the cells and cause cell death. And keto diet improves all of this by lowering this glycation thing. 
Uh, so especially for people who have the uh, E4 variant of the apple lipoprotein E, uh, this might be like particularly important because that variant increases risk for dementia. So what are some uh, tips for considering ketogenic diet? Number one, consult with a healthcare provider, right? Especially if someone has dementia, right? It's a very vulnerable time, right? So it's important to have help. A dietitian, a medical person who can track uh, labs overall, make sure that it's reasonable. Right? Then you can monitor ketone levels right, by using these ketone meters either in for the blood or urine, right? some way of tracking are you actually in ketosis. Um, another thing to consider is to do the healthy version of keto right, with like clean fats, you know, olive oil and avocados rather than like really living on like conventional bacon the whole time, right? So also having vegetables, having like a reasonable diet overall. Another thing is very important to stay well hydrated and to maintain like reasonable electrolyte balance because the ketogenic diet can really like affect things and change things in the body. So overall, keto diet may offer like a totally new and gentler approach to protecting brain from cognitive decline and a non-medication, non-toxic way of uh, helping someone who already has early signs of dementia, right? It takes work, it takes effort, it takes thoughtfulness, um, but it's worth doing whatever is possible because dementia is such a difficult condition and so heartbreaking. So. For all of us, you know, we can start now, right, to just eat less sugar, like less carby, right? So maybe not full-blown keto for most of us, right? But keto-ish or trending towards keto or just, you know, lower carb um, and healthier overall. And then for people with, you know, mild cognitive decline, a trial, a full keto diet. For people with dementia, a trial, a full keto diet makes sense based on what we understand about the mechanisms or kind of the root causes contributing to dementia and what this way of eating can do to reverse those root causes.